Hello everyone. You will now see a demonstration of the donning and doffing of personal protective equipment used when caring for a patient suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19. This needs repetitive training and it is important to demonstrate competency in order to ensure safety. The protocol may be revised as guidelines are updated. It will also depend on the kind of PPE available at your institution. Personal protective equipment is worn in a warm environment for extended periods of time. Hence, prepare yourself with a meal, adequate hydration, and use the restroom before starting donning. PPE should be donned close to the patient care area, either in a clean room or in a pre-identified area in the hallway. The required PPE should be provided in this area. So before entering this area, change to a scrub suit, washable shoes or footwear, and secure long hair. Secure corrective glasses with an elastic strap at the back to hold it securely. All personal items like jewelry, mobiles, etc. are to be removed and kept safely. A trained observer or a buddy using a checklist to document and supervise the correct sequence will mitigate error while donning and doffing. A buddy should interrupt the person donning if the sequence is wrong or the method is wrong. An alternative to trained observer would be a mirror to have a self-check to ensure that no skin is exposed. Following are the items required for donning. Alcohol-based hand rub, two to three pairs of clean gloves with long cuffs, shoe covers covering up to calf, coverall gown, a respirator which is N95 or higher, face shield or goggles. If using goggles, ensure that they have straps to secure. Before wearing, check the integrity of the PPE. Following are the steps of donning PPE. Perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based hand rub and allow it to dry. Wear the first pair of long cuffed clean gloves. Wear the coverall gown sitting in a clean chair. Start wearing the leg sleeves. Followed by arm sleeves and zip up. Make sure that the inner pair of gloves remains under the coverall sleeve. Wear shoe covers over the leg sleeves and perform hand hygiene. Next, wear the N95 mask. Cup the outside of the respirator in your dominant hand with the straps of the mask hanging down. Bring the respirator to your face, place snugly over the nose and mouth, secure the lower strap around the back of your neck under the ears and the upper strap behind your head above the ears. Adjust and approximate the pliable upper margin. Following this, perform the seal check. For this, you must cover the respirator with your hand and inhale deeply and quickly. The respirator should collapse slightly inward. Next, perform the seal check. Keep hands over the margins of the respirator and exhale to determine if there are leaks around the mask. Cover the head with the coverall hood. Next, wear the face shield. An alternative would be goggles. 
If goggles are worn, make sure it is securely fit or secure it at the back with straps over the hood like corrective glasses. Wear the second gloves over the coverall sleeve cuff. Finally, check for exposed areas. No skin should be exposed. Check for ease of mobility before entering the isolation area. Now you are ready. The following are the steps for the doffing of PPE. Since the risk of contamination while removing PPE is high, hand hygiene must be performed after each step. This is best done with a trained observer. If an observer is present, he or she should be wearing full PPE. A mirror can be an alternative instead of a body. Removal should be done in an anti-room or doffing area separate from the clean area used for donning. Materials needed in doffing are alcohol-based hand rub, dirty chair, labelled as such, clean chair, again labelled as such, disinfectant wipes, waste bins, a spare pair of clean gloves. First, perform hand hygiene to disinfect the outer glove. Now, check for any stains on the PPE and wipe off with alcohol wipes. Perform hand hygiene. Now, sit on a dirty chair to remove the shoe cover. and dispose in the bin. Again, perform hand hygiene. Remove the outer gloves by pulling from the exterior side of the glove and turn it inside out. Hold the removed glove in the double gloved hand. Now remove the remaining glove by sliding the forefinger of the first hand under the cuff at the wrist and pull off the glove so that it is inside out. Roll it and discard the gloves in the bin. Hand hygiene must be done now to disinfect the inner gloves. Remove the face shield or goggles, paying attention to avoid contaminating the eyes. Now remove the coverall hood by pulling out over the head and unzipping, holding the suit at the shoulder, loosening and removing it by rolling it inside out. Discard in the appropriate bin. Perform hand hygiene. Last, remove the N95 mask, stooping forward and pulling the lower strap first, bringing it forward. Then, the upper strap, discard the mask holding the straps. Do not touch the front of the mask. Perform hand hygiene. The procedure demonstrated now used a coverall gown. In case such a gown is not available, we can use a gown which is secured with ties. Following are the steps using a gown which is secured with ties. So first perform hand hygiene using an alcohol based hand rub and allow it to dry. Now wear the first pair of clean gloves which have long cuffs, sit on a clean chair and put on the shoe cover. Make sure it extends until the calf. Put on the full sleeve gown and tie the straps. This gown should cover all around completely. Make sure that the inner glove remains under the sleeve. Now wear the respirator. The hood is worn separately. Wear the hood so that it overlaps the gown and covers the head and neck fully. Place the face shield or goggles over the hood and if goggles are used, make sure it is secured with straps at the back of the head. Now put on the second pair of gloves and extend the cuff over the gown. A trained observer verifies that no part of the body is exposed before you enter the patient care area. Alternatively, you can use a mirror and verify. 
Make sure you can move around with the PPE. Now you are ready. Perform hand hygiene to disinfect the outer glove. Check for stains on the PPE and wipe with alcohol wipes if any. Again perform hand hygiene. Sit on the dirty chair to remove the shoe cover and dispose in the appropriate bin. Perform hand hygiene. Now remove the outer gloves and perform hand hygiene to disinfect the inner gloves. Remove the goggles, paying attention to avoid contaminating the eyes. Tilt the head forward and remove, holding the strap of the face shield or the side of the goggles and place in the appropriate bin. Perform hand hygiene again. Now remove the hood by grasping at the top. Lean forward and gently remove. Put this in the bin. Disinfect your hands. Remove the gown by unfastening the tie. Pull at the shoulder area and away from the body. Roll it inside out. Wrap into a bundle and dispose in the bin. Hand hygiene must be performed and a glove change may be done at this step. Wear a new pair of clean gloves. Now remove the N95 mask, stooping forward and pulling the lower strap first and bring it forward. Next, the upper strap is loosened and brought forward. Discard the mask using the straps alone, holding the straps alone. Do not touch the front of the mask. Perform hand hygiene again. To sum up, I would like to reiterate that the donning and doffing of personal protective equipment requires repeated practice and is best done under trained supervision. One must ensure that no skin is exposed. The seal check is mandatory. Learn to adjust the mask to get a good seal. Still, if there are leaks, change the respirator for another one with a better fit.